Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeanne and I'm back with another video. So guys, this video is going to be different. I'm really, really excited. So before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so we're going to pause. All right, so today I'm excited about this video. It's going to be a little different. We have a special guest. It's my bro, Marcus. He has a YouTube channel, so make sure you go subscribe to his channel, um, hit that notification bell, and like his videos, because he has some really good videos, really, really good. He's really great at poetry, and speaking of poetry, what, we did to, what we're doing today is we're going to be reading a poem that we wrote together. Um, I'm not much of a writer, but he is, and he's a bomb one at that, so make sure you do that. Make sure you buy his book. All of that, but I'm, I'm gonna let him introduce himself a little more, okay? Greetings and salutations, everybody. This is your boy, Marcus T. This guy from Life and Poetry with Marcus T on the YouTube platform, um, as well as author of Love in the Eyes of the Author, a collection of spoken word pieces, which is available on Amazon via paperback and ebook for all your Kindle readers, those who wanna get tech savvy. Um, I'm here with you guys today with my good friend, Miss Miss Jeanne, um, to do a collaboration piece that we worked on some time ago. We wanted to display with you guys. She came to me and asked me to do this piece with her for her channel. So, of course, I said yes. I love to do this type of work. I love poetry. I love to collab with, with other writers, other poets. Um, and she is, she is a phenomenal writer in her own right. And, yeah, so I think you guys are going to love this piece. So, without further ado... Let's take a trip back in time. Hey, hey you, yeah hey, you. Let me tell you about a time. First, let me ask you. Do you remember the aroma of your grade school playground after a warm summer day filled your nose? You know, that time when the heat would be so tormenting that your body would feel as if you was moving in slow motion but your spirit was ready to be set free trying to escape from the reality which was, see, the reality of the playground was your normality. While the slide being your siblings, the bottom was you while the top was them. Not grasping the concept that you had to move out of the way of what was coming down. The swings, your parents. Always moving with momentum but in opposite direction pushed with the frustration of life. What about the time you first learned to play chess? learning that the pawns were limited with movement, nearly powerless, often used both carelessly and strategically, protecting the more powerful pieces while creating a sacrificial dilemma for the opponent. And the time when solving difficult puzzles, critical thinking, acted as a stimulant for the dormant part of your brain. And the time when you solved another difficult puzzle, Except this time, the brain responded as if it had received a depressant versus a stimulant, realizing that as a child, you were a pawn with limited power and movement that was used carelessly and strategically to protect one competitor and cause pain and suffering for the other two competitors, being your parents. How about the time when you walked into a room and your very presence fell on blind eyes? Your reflection was that of a silhouette of a shadowy being. Or a time when you used to look in the mirror and would see mediocrity. What about the time when you believed love was painless or the time when the word family had little value to you? To you, funny how when situations change and you can begin to look deeper into yourself, you begin to try to assess why change is taking place. But, but all, all you can ask is why. Do you remember when you were tired and weak and worn and needed help to cry? Or how about what it is like to have your light turn to darkness and you have to find your way through? Do you know what it feels like when you fall down an endless hill but still try to catch yourself? Oh, what it's like for things to close without warning and then leaves you reaching for an existence that you can't hold on to. Now, your mind is walking in reverse like a walking contradiction. A body standing in the wind, a shadow of that silhouette resembling something else. Longing, craving, yearning, wanting to be seen. It is amazing to be able to look back and say, those times are different from these times, reminiscing on all the times you struggled, just struggled in many areas of your life, makes you realize that without rough times, you would not be this amazing person you have come to know. But, but boy, boy, aren't, aren't you, you glad, glad the times, times have changed? changed. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
so that's the poem y'all i'm glad i'm happy to be sharing this with you guys again make sure you go subscribe to his channel life and poetry with marcus t he is banging content he posts bangers all the time multiple times a week and you're gonna get more things like this but better than this so do that now do i, do I need to pause it <laughs> all right guys so thank you for joining us today and you'll be seeing more of him really soon all right guys Bye.